Where here can it stop? Your ring doorbell. If your ring is on the other side, then it's a Chinese knockoff, okay? If it looks mirrored, it's a Chinese knockoff. So what you want to do is you want to open up your package first. Here we go. Take off the little slit, and here you go. There's your ring. What you want to do next is open up the package even more, and there you go. Say hello to your new ring. Hello there. Let's take off the paperwork. No one wants that. Throw it away. And then you have your ring doorbell. Put that to the side, and then you have your mounting bracket. We need that. You have your installing tools. And that's the end of the package. So these are all your contents inside the box. Let's look inside your installing tools. So right here, this is your balancing. Here is your diode, in case you have an electric doorbell. You probably won't, but just in case. Here is your screwdriver, provided by Ring. How nice of them. Here's your charging cable, in case you don't want to put it in um, wirelessly, instead of hard hardwiring it to the wall. Few more things in here. We got a little drill bit. How nice of them. And then finally, finally, you have your screws. See, count them first. Make sure you have all your screws. If you don't, then you want to contact me. Make sure you have your security screws too. Make sure you're not missing any of those. Okay. And let's begin to the install. And we would highly recommend if you have a doorbell facing on the other side of the wall like this and it's like inward, you won't be able to see any of your beautiful people walking up to your door. So we would highly recommend you buy this thing. Introducing your anchor. So inside the package, you can see you have a little, some, um, your screws, screwdrivers, and then you have the angle thing yourself. So. How this works is that you put it against your wall like this and then you can angle it so that you can actually see everyone's picture. See how it just angles out? Demonstration? Okay. So now instead of having your ring doorbell instead of having your ring doorbell doorbell facing like this and see how it, it's like this you can see this wall right here with the angler now it's facing outward so you can say hi to all your wonderful people who rang your doorbell first head over to your phone and head to the app store what you first want to do is you install the ring app Once the app is installed, head it over into the app and sign up for your own Ring account. Set up so you can have a notification that I can see who's at your door and you can see emotion alerts. So head in to create an account, but since I already have one, let's log in. Once you sign into your Ring app, head over to set up a new device. Let's go to doorbells and it will like to access your camera, hit OK. So on the back of your ring, there's a little QR code. What you want to do, you want to scan that little sucker. And there you go. Now, allow a ring to access your, your location. Allow while you're using app. Or you want to set it up. So what, what you want to do here, you want to put in your address. Since I already put it in, okay, it's already good to go. But what you want to do, put in your address, everything. It will set it up so that if you have any notifications from other neighbors who have like break-ins and other stuff, you can get those notifications too. So continue. Where do you want to put it? So it's good. you have uh, different areas. Usually you want to just click front door. So on the back of your ring, follow the video. There's a little button here. Just click on that. And you can see in the front, it starts to do exactly in the video. It starts to go around in a circle and a white circle. Press continue, and it'll say, Ring wants to join Wi-Fi network, Ring, whatever. Click join. 
Now you want to connect to your Wi-Fi network. Go ahead and put in your password. And now it's attempting to connect to your network. Got a little trinket here. Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, funny. And there you have it. Uh, so there's these other things here. Snapshot capture, fill in the blanks. Um, this is just some of its features. And there you go. Your setup is complete. Press continue. Now it's going to update. It might take a while, but just wait until the um, light starts to stop flashing. And then. So now what you want to do is you want to set up the motion detection. So if there's steps leading up to your door, go ahead and click uh, yes or no. So now let's move on to the installation. If you plan on hardwiring your ring doorbell, head over to your circuit box. In order to make sure that you don't get shocked, we want to turn off your doorbell. So, just go down, down the list, see which one you think it is. Uh, we tried many times before and it failed. So, we found out it was this one, garage for some reason. And there you go. Now head over to your doorbell. After you install your ring doorbell, head over to your circuit box and turn it back on. Now you're ready to ring your new ring. Mm -hmm. 